So today I'm gonna to be taking a walk along the side of the lake here. It is beautiful. There's so much going on on the water side. It's just stunning. There's so much to photograph. It's really incredible. For you guys, you're gonna see loads of photographs and hopefully this is gonna be like a little bit relaxing as well. So you can enjoy it and I'm gonna explain my thought process all the way through so you guys can see what I'm thinking. So just sit back and enjoy it. So I'm gonna try and photograph this fallen tree here and we've got this pathway here as well. So let's try and grab this. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna shoot at 1.2 for a lot of stuff just because I want to. And it's not much light in here actually, it's pretty dark. We've got some long grass down here in the foreground. I'm gonna try and use that as a foreground sort of framing element for this picture. I might just take one more just to be sure. And just turning into the side, I like the, the moss on the side of this tree. So <laughs> what I think is funny is that, I just wanna say something for a minute, I think it's kind of funny. But I notice in locations like this, I'll stop somewhere and it's just turn, take a photograph, turn, take a photograph, turn, take a photograph. It's one thing after the other. But let's carry on. The, uh, the tree here, I think this is really quite nice. So I'm just going to grab a little shot of this. And the trick for me is to, is to get this branch that's coming out the side here into a position that kind of works with the framing. We've got these little branches coming out as well. Uh, and so we're trying to just grab something like this and I think that will hopefully work. Before I go and explore into the forest more, we've got all of these trees. Look at this, this is incredible. Like the way these trees are just coming out of the water. This is flood water, I think this is flood water because we've had so much rain. Um, yeah, there's just this flooding. So I'm gonna try and find a nice little composition of these trees in the water here and see if I can get something that I like the look of. See the way that light is? That is beautiful, I love that. The way it's rippling like that. So that is my goal, is to capture that. I think that's amazing that we can get so much in one spot. I'm gonna try and get to this massive fallen tree stump. Almost looks like a UFO. Um, I'll show you guys as I try to get to it now. So let's, uh, let's make our way and see what we can do. Oh, there's even a nice fallen wall up here as well. I'll tell you what guys, this is not easy ground to walk over at all um this is what i'm trying to get to i'll so, see if i can show you that that fallen tree is huge i mean it's the size of a bus uh don't know if it's going to make a good photo or not but i'm interested to find out anyway so let's go the bog is setting in i'll tell you what let's try and get the shot from here because the ground's getting i'm sinking so let me zoom in for you guys so you can see a bit. That's what I'm looking at. This thing's huge. So I'm thinking to shoot this effectively, actually come up a little bit and we'll shoot something like this. Get those trees in the background. Guys, I have a bit of an aversion to bogs because, oh, there's a path here. Uh, I want, yeah, there's a path. Oh, look at this, just a second. I found this little pathway. That might actually make a nice picture, you know, with this moss here. Let's take that as a shot. That would be one with a, you know, like a blown background, but uh, I don't mind that. This is kind of interesting coming up here. Yeah, what I was saying is that when I was in Scotland, probably in about 2015, I fell into a bog nearly up to my waist. And it was pretty awful because I didn't see it coming and it just went down. <laughs> And it felt like it was happening in slow motion. Um, it was one of those things where you just feel like, oh, you know, am I going to stop or am I just going to disappear here because it was that bad? Wow, look at this. The other thing we've got is um, this nice bit of wall. So I'm interested to go and see what's going on with this as well. Let's attempt to we can't really do this justice, you know. I don't want to go over this because this is just bog, but let's try it in landscape. Uh, I'm going to underexpose a little bit. That could work, hang on. Oh, do you see, this is, you know, sometimes people say to me, like, how do you see light? You know, these streams of light. Look at the back of my camera. You see it, it's there. It's about the contrast that you can see that shard of light coming through. Look at this, with this moss covered, 
this moss covered wall here. This is fantastic. I really like that. I'm getting done by the 50 mil. <laughs> so what I've done is I've had to back up because I can't fit it in on the 50 close up like that. But like this I can, just taking a few steps back. Uh, just taking a few steps back. This is the same thing again. Look, I'm going to make this dark. Look what happens to the pic. Look what happens to the picture when I make it dark. See that? Oh well, hopefully we got something there. We have to decide now: do we go back down to the forest path, or do we try and creep through all this? I think we go down. Going to make our way back down to the side of the lake now because. That's probably going to get into that sort of territory where you kind of can't go any further and you just get stuck and then you have to make your way back and it takes ages. I thought I'd show you guys just some of the side of the lake here as well because it's very pretty. When I'm walking around like this, I'm not looking for anything specifically. The good thing on days like this where it's just completely, well, nearly totally overcast, we've got low clouds, the tops of the mountains. And when you come into areas that are forested or you've got you know overgrowth and trees and so on then what you get is side light because the trees and the tree areas become a subtractor let me show you even just this around me here these trees are wonderful there seems to be some sort of ruins or something here which i want to explore this tree, I don't, do you know what? These trees are just incredible, but I'm not sure that this is a good angle on them. Let's go and explore this, because this is kind of interesting. I really want to see what this is. I wonder what it was. And you know what? Let me just spin you around. This is one of those examples where I'm looking at those trees, and what I'm saying to myself is, don't get distracted, because I know I'm going to try and take some pictures of well, I might try and take some pictures of these trees and these ruins, but don't miss the little stuff. And so I need to make sure that I'm not missing the other things that are around me. So when you get somewhere and you're like, wow, look at that, stop for a moment and say to yourself, what else? What else? You know, like, what else is there? Because there's going to be other stuff there. And you might as well have a look and see what there is. So remembering to look behind me a bit. Oh, this tree. This little dude hanging out here. Oh, the 50s getting me again. Oh, that's nice. Now look. So we're getting all of that moss covered, all those little bumps and things from all the dead trees and branches and root systems and things framing the tree. And that could have been an okay little shot potentially. I might be happy with it. Little lone trees hanging out, catching the light like that can make nice photos sometimes. I know people are going to say, why are you using a 50? Why? Why didn't you use your 24 to 70 or something else? Um, I just felt like it. That's it, really. <laughs> it's okay to be a bit impulsive sometimes. You know what uh, I notice is like forums and so on, and sometimes look up something. People are so like, oh yeah, but it's this and it does that and blah, blah, blah. It's okay to just like something. You know, just, just like it. This is nice. Let me show you this. This moss on this, on some of these trees here is a different color to some of the moss on the other trees. And it makes an interesting picture. Seeing stuff like that is always just a case of what is catching your eye. That's all you have to do and keep repeating that until you get good at it, which is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do it enough, trying to repeat it enough times till I see what works and what doesn't work. I know people will often use a polarizer to cut out those reflections, which is fine, you know, but uh, I like those reflections. I think that's what, often with water, that's the character. It really just depends so much. You know, there's the polarizer will cut through so you can see the bottom. I don't want to see the bottom. 
I want to see those reflections. So I just took a little video clip to show you guys what I mean about the water reflections, um, you know, giving things a bit of character. Obviously it depends, but generally speaking, like I, I want them there. I want those highlight ripples. I'm just gonna photograph this path down here. That to me was really lovely because it's got so much going on with all these trees. Uh, all of these large trees behind me, all of that moss covered rock like that. This rock, these rocks, uh, this wall here. There's like full on ruins here. What was this? And you know what the thing is, this takes you back to when you're like eight years old, doesn't it? And you discover something like this with your mates and you think, come on, let's go and explore. Let's have an adventure. I'm trying to see if the path takes us through this. There's like a, a clear path going through over there. Let's see, I think we can get around to it this way. Suddenly I'm 10 years old again. <laughs> you know what the thing is? I actually genuinely feel that feeling. Like when you're a kid and you think, oh, what's behind this? Let's explore. I need to keep flipping this around so I'll show you guys. Let's do it this way around so you can see what I see all the time. Wow. I mean, I know you guys are going to want to see over this wall, right? Ah, here we are. The way into the secret garden. Here we are. This is how you get into it. Gosh. I will give you a slow sweep around. So this is from left to right. <laughs> Look at this. Gosh, something live in there. <laughs> I want to get the, uh, the pulled back shot here as well because I don't think the close-up was it. I think it's this one. Huh. Oh, I tell you what, I'm loving this. Look at that lighting. See how misty it is coming from the top. I hope that's showing on the back of the camera. Look at that. Can you see that? Unbelievable. It's like you can see the light pouring through from the top. Let me show you again on the back. I hope that's coming out okay. See so what I'm gonna do guys, I'm just gonna switch the camera into video mode. Maybe I should do this sometimes because it might be useful. I'm gonna put it in video mode and just show you just straight out of camera how that looks. So you can see what I mean about the lighting. And so guys, just to be clear why that's happening is because this stuff here, on the left of it is subtracting and that is acting like a window that area there for the light to come in from sort of diagonal above that's why you being on these edge areas of a forest is so productive and you don't really want to be sort of in the forest uh, unless you've got large openings like open canopy um, which you might get in the winter like this uh, so you get directional lighting on overcast days that's really enjoyable like almost making up a children's book about that area there and uh you know the creature that lives in in that little hiding spot <laughs> remember to check out the links in the description down below for my online workshops so i've got my portrait stuff on there and landscapes as well so you can go and check that out there's also a link to buy me a coffee as well if you want to help support the channel it really does help it gives me the petrol to go out and do this kind of stuff as well which makes a big difference and is, is always much appreciated, it really is. Subscribe if you're new, give it a like if you liked it, and drop me a comment. Let me know what you thought of the secret garden. I thought this was pretty cool to be in, and I've really enjoyed this, and it was quite a good find at the end of this little walk. Anyway, I'll see you guys again in the next video. Take care, bye-bye.